Welcome back into the second round all. here at Players' Championship 24 and a meeting between one of the stars of 2022, 25. Dirk van Dijvenbode and George Killington, who had a good run at Players' Championship 23 yesterday. 25. The killer got the better of Mickey Mansell, Richard Binet and Christoph Kachuk before eventually losing in the last 16 to Peter Snakebite right 6-4. Twenty-five, and he's seen off Lee Evans in his opening match today to set up this last sixty-four meeting with Van Dijvenbode, the number four seed in this event. He beat Outside. the Welshman Jim Williams by six legs to two to progress. Twenty-five. George won the ball. Killington gets the better of the bullseye contest <coughs> and will throw first in this race to six legs. Sixty. Match coming up after this is going to be between John Brown, fifty-seven, and Sean Wilkinson. We might have expected it to be Keegan Brown against Raymond van Barneveld, but John got a, a good win against yesterday's champion, and then Wilco knocked out the great Ra Raymondo, 80. the five-time world champion Barney. Beaten in round one, the former star of Dutch darts, one of the latest stars of the sport from the Netherlands in action here. 180. But it's Killington who fires in a maximum in the opening leg. Ninety-three. We lost a lot of seeds yesterday in early rounds, but the big boys seem to be out to play today. Seeds one, two, and three already through to the third round of today's tournament. Humphreys, I mentioned well, during the last match, beat Luke Peters 6 0. Nathan Aspinall, the winner here on Wednesday, a 6 3 winner against Gert Divorce. And Rob Cross, number three 81. seed, a 6 3 success for him against David Evans. Jose de Sosa also threw after beating Jermaine Watermain a 6 3 as well. The number four seed is the man trailing yes. in this leg, and Seven. George Killington's just bumped into him. Didn't seem to react himself, but there was certainly an animated response from Dirk van Dijvenbode. 49. Nothing he can do apart from hit and hope at this stage. A slow start 93. for the Titan. Double eight for Killington. Game shot. In the end, double four does the business for George. Interesting stance he has, George Killington. He, he leans quite far forward and quite far to the right. 180. There you see. Put too much well into one of his darts. He might end up on the deck. 43. Slow start in the first, like I said, from Dirk van Dijven Boda, but it's a flying start in the second. Four perfect darts, becomes five. 140. I'm surprised he had the guts to stay there, really. That second dart was dangling precariously. 60. We have had an incredible quota 60. of nine dart finishes. Here in Barnsley this week, six of them in total, including the three that 95. we had on Tuesday in the European Tour qualifiers. 94. We're actually up to 32 nine dart finishers <coughs> in 2022. We had 42 in the entirety of 2021. Looking at an 11 dart finish here, Dirk van Dijvenbode, but he can't manage it. Yeah, the 
players to produce perfection this week. Jamie Hughes, Cameron Menzies, Willie Ball and Jose de Sosa, Rusty Jake Rodriguez and Jack Mayne. Well done all. 135. 13. The target now. 14. 15. Game shot. And he gets there in the end. Not seeing the explosive stuff that we're used to so far from Dirk. And the killer can go along like a silent assassin. 60. Martin Schindler, the fifth man through to the third round. The German beats Robert Owen 6-4 to get there. Dimitri Vandenberg is almost there as well. He's 5-0 up against Damien Moll and he's averaging 109. 97. The brilliant Belgian who will be heading down under for the triple header of events. In Australia and New Zealand, starting next week. After Peter Wright decided to pull out to focus on a health issue. 44. Second max of the game for Van Dijvenboer has come against a throw. 96. So he's making a move here to try and take control of this game. Sixty. Game shot. Well, it is game shot. There was a, a long pause there. Thought I'd join in. I didn't want to uh, doubt my match official Andrew Davis. But it's three maximums now from Dirk van Dijven Boder after that flashy double double finish. And if he can make it four right now, we'll all get very, very excited indeed. 93. Has played George Killington four times before. And has won three of those meetings. 60. But they are well spread out. In fact, two of them were on the development tour. That's how long ago it was. 96. One was during the London Olympics in 2012. Not as part of the Olympics. It was here in Barnsley. Nice. The 4-1 win for Dirk van Dijven, but most recently in 2019. So no real recent history between the pair, but it was a 6-0 win the last time they met for Dirk. 100. Game shot. And he's seemingly in command of this one now after Killington won the first leg. That's three on the spin for the Dutchman. 100. Well, I mentioned we'd had six nine darters. 100. Here in Barnsley this week. Well, scratch that and make it seven. Because we've had another... And quite remarkably, 41. It's from a player who was already on the list that I read out earlier on. One hundred and forty. No maximum there for George Killington. Just letting you play along at home for a minute before we reveal the name of the man who's done it, but. After hitting his first career nine dart finish yesterday, Jack Main has done it again today. Two nine darts in two days. 77. This one. In the fifth leg of his match against 
Neil Zonneveld. 180, 180, 141. 60. Certainly the main man when it comes to perf perfection. That game currently three apiece. Ninety six. Well, one seventy left for Van Dyven Boda if Killington doesn't clean this up, but he gets two darts at double twelve. Game shot. And he only needs one. <coughs> and keeps himself in contention in this game. Well, if you've been watching this stream throughout the day, you stay with us here on Stream 1, you'll have seen the first couple of matches really weren't a great standard. Daryl Gurney and Florian Hempel coming through them. Well, Hempel is 4-2 up on Daryl Gurney now in the second round, and he's averaging 108.5. 45. If you sell. Well, George Killington stepped back for a long old while there before addressing the hockey. Not sure if there's something distracting him or whether he was just making sure that Dirk was behind him before he focused on his own throw. 140. Ninety six. One hundred. Great shot that from George Killington. Game shot. But it hasn't earned him anything. Dirk backed himself. And why not go that way? Triple 20. I, I think that on a lot of finishers, when you, you feel you've got to take it out, you've got two darts in hand. Nice just go for treble 20. It's the one you go for most. And it doesn't matter which double you leave, does it? Dirk employed that tactic and it worked perfectly for him. 58. Florian Hempel now 5 2 up against Daryl Gurney and looking likely to go through to the board final on board 100. 2. Dave Chisnell carries on his good. Level today, a 6 0 win against Jonathan Worsley. And an average of 103.66, Dave Chisnell. One hundred and forty. Fifty eight. Oh, not happy in this leg. But still got the advantage. It's just a, a kind of workmanlike win if it does indeed end up in being a win for Dirk van Dijven Boda, isn't it, so Maybe far five. in this match? Nothing particularly spectacular. Some good moments. And, do you know, it's a sign of how good a player he's become because 140. he's producing a decent performance and he doesn't look like he's playing that well here. Killington will look at 20 and then double 20. But he's missed. 98. The killer off the hook. Edging closer. Game shot. And in. And it's 4-3. Dirk still has that. Breaker throw advantage. A little bit of a, a celebration there from George Killington. Well, he's, up, he's up for it, but... As I was saying, Van Dijven Boda averaging around 99, 100. Without looking spectacular, and that is an indication 
as to how 96. consistent a competitor he's become. Eighty-one. One hundred. Mentioned the World Series around the corner. The next time that we'll be back on air for floor events is the Women's Series at the end of August. It's the next year's World Match Play. She looks to split up the Sherrick Ashton dominance. 45. 20 for tops here. 38. Over the top, but no matter. He'll be back, and he's just kept hold of that advantage that he got in the third leg of the match. 140. It's given him a two leg buffer and he still has it and he's one away from a place in round three. And he would be the favourite against whoever he plays in the board final. The winner of the match coming up next, John Brown and Sean Wilkinson, but Killington's not going to go quietly. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Ninety-seven. One hundred and eighty. Two one eight is in the leg. Excellent stuff from George Killington. Tying up the tally in the match. One hundred and forty. A lad from Harlow. Ninety Game shot. Produces a dozen dart legs to stay in it, but Dirk has the darts to seal the deal. 100. Sixty. Aussie joined the top three seeds in the third round as the Dutchman goes through to take on the winner of our next match. That's coming up shortly, Wilkinson against John Brown. There you see the stats. Good value for the win. Just the one break of throwing it that made the difference. A 98.98 average. It didn't even look that good from Dirk van Dijvenbode. But as I said, you're in the game. That's how good he's become. And he's got a big chance of progressing deep into this tournament. Wilkinson against John Brown coming next. Stay with us for that. Toyota is.